Ishai Fleischer, who is an international spokesperson for the Jewish community from Hebron, Israel, is now joining us. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with India today. First of all, Ishai, I hope you and your loved ones are all safe. Well, my nation's not safe. Uh, my nation's been attacked, and so um, many people that I know have been uh, killed or friends have been injured, and, uh, and we are fighting uh, for our survival here in Israel, and we will not, uh, you know, we are one nation, so maybe my personal family is safe, but my bigger family, the nation of Israel, is not safe. Yishai, the biggest concern, of course, now is that several Israelis have been abducted by Hamas. There's the worry that they could be executed, as has been threatened by Hamas. Well, the grimmer reality is that they're going to be used uh, as uh, as pawns for a long time, as was Gilad Shalit uh, a few years ago that they held for a long time. Uh, and so that's, you know, one of the ways that they effectuate their sadistic hate of Israel is through torturing through long periods of time both the captives uh, and the families and the society uh, of Israel. Uh, but I do think that things are different now. I think that finally... Uh, people are waking up to what this ISIS, uh, Daesh-like uh, force on our borders is. And that's what happens when you give away your land to them. That's what happens when you allow them to arm themselves uh, here in Gaza and also in the north and in other places, including the heartland of our country, Judea and Samaria, which is the heartland of Israel. When you allow them to be armed like this, uh, and to have pro uh, to take your land and you allow them to act with impunity, uh, then this is the result. And now we have to deal with, uh, with the outcome. Uh, in 2005, my friends and I tried very much to stop the land giveaway uh, and, and the um, surrender to uh, Hamas uh, by giving away Gaza Strip to the control of the Palestinian Authority, but then Hamas, uh, we said this is exactly what's going to happen, and now it's happened. And so the uh, as we say, the chickens have come home to roost. The uh, the bad ideas of giving away land for peace uh, have borne this uh, devilish fruit, and now it's time to uh, take back the land of Gaza, uh, if, if destroy Hamas totally. Uh, and fix the mistake of 2005. But there are also innocents who are being caught in the crossfire in Gaza, Yishai. I think that that's, uh, uh, I, I think that that's uh, the kind of statements that we used to hear from the past, that we're concerned about innocents caught in the crossfire. Uh, no, we have a societal conflict. Uh, Hamas is supported by that society, uh, and we have a war. And, and so, therefore, innocents, so-called, uh, can get hurt in wars. Our innocents are being targeted. And Israel will not accept the asymmetrical type of war any longer where they target our civilians and we target the so-called militants. No, that society has got to help us root out uh, the Hamas and those who support Hamas and support this act, as we've seen in many videos, uh, will be uh, part of the targets of this military, of this campaign, of this war. Uh, so I think that that talk about innocent civilians and, and, and you know, they, they can be caught in a crossfire, I think that's over. Uh, those 250 uh, folks that were dancing and, 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 and having a good time in the desert were targeted. Uh, they were innocent civilians. And now it's time to uh, finish the job to cleanse Gaza from jihadism altogether, to retake Gaza uh, under Israeli control, uh, and to uh, also wake up from the, uh, from the fake uh, uh, ideology that says that if we give them more, appease them more, give them more arms, they'll control themselves. If we give them more land, they'll be happy. Absolutely not. Uh, that's been a, a, a humongous mistake of Israeli thinking, and I hope that this this situation and this conflict uh, will awaken Israelis to no longer uh, go in that direction of, of weakness and, and assert strength 
in this region that really respects strength. So Yusha, what's your response to those saying that this is the oppressed fighting back the oppressors? Uh, the Arab world is 400 million people in 22 countries in a landmass that's much, much bigger than the United States. Uh, and that landmass is where the Arab world thrives. Uh, there is one corner of that world, which is the cousins of the Arab people, that's the Jews. And we have an ancestral land. It says so in the Bible. It says so in the Christian text. It says so in the Quran. The Jewish people have a land in the in the in a corner of this Middle East. It's our tribal and ancestral land. Uh, we have been attacked mercilessly for a hundred years, and yet uh, we have defended ourselves with the help of God. We have defended ourselves, uh, and we continue to defend ourselves. This recent attack has nothing to do with rights and oppression. It has something to do with Iran and jihadism that seeks to dominate this region, that seeks to destroy Saudi Arabia, that seeks to destroy Israel, anybody who doesn't stand with the exact same line that these Iranians do. Uh, Israel has every right to exist in its land, and it will fight for its land. It will fight for its people. And it's an armed ethnic minority in this region, and it has to push back on the jihadism that Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah represent, this is nothing but ISIS, and whenever they give you the uh, uh, the kind of speech about rights and about op oppression and occupation, it's only language to uh, uh, be heard by liberal ears. Uh, but in fact, their goal is nothing. There's nothing liberal about it. It's jihadism from beginning to end, and we will root it out with the help of God. Yushai Fleischer, thank you so much for joining us live from Israel. Thank you for your time.